Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has just released the new iOS 17.4 with a few new features and changes coming to iOS users. So in this video, we're going to talk about this update and specifically, we're going to talk about settings that I believe every iPhone user must change on their iOS 17.4 device. Now we have a few new settings that you can change and also we have some other general settings that I believe every iPhone user must check and change on their device in order to get the best performance and the best results from their device. And we're starting things off with something really important that you should do after every update. Now, this is a setting that you cannot actually change, turn on or off, but you will have to check it. So head on to your settings, go under general, and then under about here, just tap the about section. And once you're there after the update, you might get a carrier update as well. If you get it, it will pop up on the screen. You just tap on update and you're good to go. With iOS 17.4, Apple has added a new setting under face ID and passcode. So, you know, with 17.3, they, they added stolen device protection, which is a great security feature to have. But what you can do now and what I suggest you do is that you can turn on require security delay for always. Now, previously with 17.3, it used to be only when it's away from familiar locations. Now you can have it turned on always. So you know that your device is always protected. It doesn't matter whether it's maybe on like a familiar location or not, it is always protected. So you enable it right here by going under the stolen device protection settings under face ID and passcode. Here we have a new setting that Apple has added on iOS 17.4 and this one is under Siri and search. So you go to Siri and search and then you will have here messaging with Siri. Now, this is of course not for everyone. Probably it will be for a lot of iOS users. Now you can add a second language for Siri to read messages to you on that language. So if you use another language other than English, you can now tap on add language right here and you will have a list of different languages that now Siri will support and it can send and read messages on that language. Of course, once you see that language here, here. You can just go ahead, tap it. It will download it to your device and you're good to go. Now, Siri will be able to read you any message that comes to your device in that language. The next setting you should change once you have updated to iOS 17.4 is the beta settings. If you have updated to iOS 17.4 beta and you have maybe the RC version installed, then of course you won't get the public update because it's the same one. So what I suggest you do is head on to your general settings and then go here under software updates and make sure that you have turned off beta updates here if you don't want to update no longer to the new betas, which probably will be iOS 17.5 in just a few days. Another thing you should do, another setting you should change is make sure that you go under automatic updates and have enabled here automatic updates. This is really, really important, especially for security responses and system files. These are small updates that Apple will send out to users, which will fix security bugs on iOS. So it's really important that you have these enabled right here under the automatic updates. Now, another thing that you should do once you have updated your device is a setting that I suggest you change for your apps. Now, you can do this manually as well. I'm talking about updating your apps because probably most of them will get an update to optimize them for iOS 17.4. But what you can do is head on to your settings, go under App Store, and right here will have app updates. You enable that, and then what happens is that all the apps will be automatically updated once they get an update on the App Store, so you no longer need to worry about your apps being up to date. Next up, we're moving under privacy and security. And here we will have something called journaling suggestions. This was a, set, was a setting that used to be under the journal section on the settings app. Now it's under privacy here. So what you will have here is include suggestions from. What this will do is basically include suggestions on the journaling app from all these different places like your media, your contacts and photos. Of course, that will consume CPU power battery as well. So you might want to take a look at this and turn these off. Maybe just leave on the ones that you need or if you don't need any of them, like I don't need them right here, just completely turn all of them off. 
And now we're moving to some settings that are newer, which have been added with 17.3, but are really important on 17.4 as well, because those have been just released like a few weeks ago. So first of all, we're talking about the playlist, the, the ability to collaborate on playlists. So when you have created one of those playlists, make sure that you tap right there with you will have that icon with two people and make sure you have enabled this setting right here which says approve collaborators which means that you will have this turned on and you must approve someone in order for them to be able to add to your playlist so you're sure that no one will just add any songs to your playlist you enable this and you will have to actually approve someone before they can add a song. Another newer iOS setting can be found here under the camera settings. This will be, of course, for the iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max. Now, if you go to formats right here, you will have something called spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. Most iOS users will never need this. So make sure that you have this turned off. Now, what this will do is that it will actually shoot videos only at 30 frames per second but they will be approximately 130 megabytes per minute so you don't want that you don't need that you can shoot at 60 frames per second of course have even way better video and of course you won't need them on the apple vision pro unless you have one of them so if you don't make sure that you have the setting turned off Another newer setting on iOS can be found right here under the general settings. Go to general and then airplay and handoff and you will have here automatically airplay. If you go here, you will have the ability to turn on automatic airplay, which is basically not that convenient. It will start automatically airplaying when connected to nearby speakers and TVs. What I suggest you do at least turn this into ask or maybe even never so you just do that manually whenever you need to airplay something next up we're moving under the battery settings now under battery if you have an iphone 15 you will see right here battery health has an all new look on ios 17.4 which is really cool you will have here all the details you need to know regarding your battery but we're not going to talk about that we're going to optimize charging here and what i suggest you do here and, uh, and a setting that i suggest you turn off is this one right here clean energy charging now in your region your iphone will try to do to reduce your carbon footprint by charging your iphone when lower carbon emissions are available that way it will actually slow down the process of charging your iphone your iphone might charge way slower when you actually need it so make sure you have this turned off next up we're moving under icloud so head on to your settings go at the top of your settings app at your profile and under icloud here you scroll all the way down you will have something called access icloud data on web you enable this and you will be able to access all of your data that you have stored on your icloud account on the web so on your computer you just log in with your apple id of course in your passcode and you will be able to just have access to things like your contacts your calendars photos notes and everything else that you have saved on your icloud account next up we're moving under the seller section so go to seller and go to your data right here and what you will have here is of course a bunch of different options so you will have automatic 5g 5g on and then 4g and the other things but what i suggest you do here is just choose 4g if you don't have a good coverage of 5g in your area or at least choose 5g auto if you have just somewhere in some places you have 5g and then others not if you keep 5g on all the time it will just drain the battery out of your iphone because it's always trying to connect to 5g and keep connected to 5g that way it drains really really fast so if you know the coverage for 5g is not that good make sure you just switch to 4g a pretty cool feature on ios is of course the new name drop feature you can find it right here on the gen under general and you will have an airdrop here and then you will have here something called bringing devices together I prefer not to keep this turned on because this will just consume battery out of your iPhone. I know it's a cool feature and you will probably you probably have tried it a few times once you have updated to iOS and it showed you this new feature, but most likely won't be using this on daily basis. It will just stay scanning for nearby devices. Sometimes it will send maybe something by accident. You don't want to do that. Make sure you have this turned off. 
And as a general rule, whenever you update to, to a new iOS version, I suggest you take a look at a few things. First of all, notifications. Now, notifications are one of the biggest battery drainers on iOS. Take a look at your notifications. All the apps here will probably find a ton of apps you don't need no notifications from. Make sure to turn them off. You will save a ton of battery on your iPhone or at least put them on the scheduled summary. Maybe that's the way, best way to do that because you just get all the notifications at one time of the day and not just keep getting notifications that you don't need all the time. And for the last two ones, we're moving under privacy and security. Always make sure that you turn off things that you don't need here. Things like maybe going to Bluetooth, a ton of apps you don't need to have access to your Bluetooth. Make sure to turn them off. The same goes for your contacts, of course, your microphone, speech recognition, and also camera and photos and all of your data. And last but not least, location services. Make sure that you go to location services and pick wisely the apps you want to have access to your location. You will see here, of course, a ton of apps. We all have a ton of apps installed on our device. If you go here, we'll have a few different options but never just choose always for an app. Maybe while using the app, or even if you do that, don't enable precise location unless the app really requires it, like maybe a navigation app or something like that. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are 17 iOS settings that I believe every user on iOS 17.4 must change on their device. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and of course subscribe for more iOS 17.4 videos. I'll see you on the next one.